we always hear about how much debt the state has, and today we got new numbers on the exact amount. The Treasury Department released its debt report for fiscal year 2020. It's a tally of everything owed from pension debt to payments due to investors who hold New Jersey's bonds. Our John Reitmeyer crunched the numbers, which aren't too different from the prior year, but still, it's a lot of money owed. And when you add it all together, we're still up over around $200 billion, which is around five times the size of the state's annual budget. I think taxpayers will probably be happy to see that the numbers aren't getting dramatically worse, but at the same time, they're still really big numbers and reflect a really heavy liability for the average New Jersey taxpayers. This report doesn't include the debt incurred in recent months during the pandemic. For more details, including a look at how New Jersey's debt compares to other states, you can read John's story on njspotlightnews.org. New Jersey is no longer able to participate in one federal program that provides extended unemployment benefits to residents. The High Extended Benefits Program offers an extra seven weeks of benefits, and it's made available to states with high unemployment rates. But New Jersey's unemployment rate has dropped, so it's now out of the program. But those who are collecting unemployment benefits do not have to worry. The state says claimants do not need to take any action. They will automatically be moved into another federal program that provides additional benefits through September 4th. With COVID numbers falling, state officials are upbeat about New Jersey's tourism prospects this year. Governor Murphy's proposed budget includes an increase in spending for tourism. Jeff Vassar, the executive director of the New Jersey Division of Travel and Tourism, says a new marketing campaign will launch soon with the hopes of attracting more visitors to the Jersey Shore. Our primary market for the shore is in-state residents as well as New York, um, Pennsylvania, Delaware. And what we plan to do is uh, expand our market into New England, west into Ohio uh, and south as far as Virginia for right now. Uh, it's gonna be primarily a digital campaign, uh, but ultimately we're gonna be looking to get you know, to the international markets as well. We don't yet have numbers from the 2020 tourism season, but in 2019, the year before the pandemic, a record number of visitors came to New Jersey. Now here's a look at Friday's trading action on Wall Street. I'm Rhonda Schapler and those are your top business stories.